the worlds we're going to direct players to, we're going to try to make sure that there's a lot of variety, that they get to see all the different aspects of the Star Wars galaxy and of what our game has to offer. The first thing that the writing team does is we look at the planet and we figure out what is the story of this place? What's going on? Who are the people that live here? What's the conflict of this world? We envision how the players run through the world, what they see first, you know, their first moments on the planet. And then we have to guide the player through the experience. You know, the player always needs to know where to go. They also need to know where they can explore, where they can go off the beaten path. Corbin is a place with its rules and structures and the players get to choose how to act. Do they try to be a good person in a bad situation or do they seize on to this quest for power and use that to become the top of the pack? It really sets the tone for what our Sith experience is going to be like and gives the players a lot of interesting choices. The artistic themes uh, that, we, that we were going through when looking at Korriban were all about uh, power and angles and pain and desolation. We got at that by looking at the Sith and uh, their culture, but there's also a beauty to them as well. We wanted to work that in, so there's a real beauty to Korriban. I've had the most fun working on Korriban, the Valley of the Dark Lord, because it was this giant excavation site where you have tombs on each side that you can explore and all the ruins, all these statues, rubble, everything that we got to play around with. When we were approaching Tython, we wanted to go the polar opposite of uh, Korriban. In Tython, it's all beautiful sweeping vistas with green vegetation and, and purple mountains and, and beautiful sky. Uh, we also added in a lot of ruins and ancient architecture there as well because it's the ancient homeworld of the Jedi that they were coming back to. This is an unexplored place. It's ancient. It's where the first Force users in the galaxy congregated and built a civilization and eventually degenerated into war between light and dark. So there are remnants of this war everywhere. Players are going to find them and it's going to be very dangerous. The Hutter presented a lot of new opportunities because on Korriban and Tython, they're a little more austere environments, not quite as uh, infrastructure is built in there. The terrain of Hutta is littered with factories and cantinas and gang-ridden slums. And so it was a much different experience building out what we can use and what opportunities we have to guide the player. This is the most fully realized look that anybody's ever seen of Hutta. So we basically had almost a blank slate when approaching this planet. The artistic themes uh, of Hutta were all about the hut. Nasty uh, scoundrels, dirty scum dripping from their mouths, and we really, we really wanted to get that in the look of Hutta. So it's a sort of acid yellow look, dripping pipes. It's basically a, a, an open cesspool with, uh, with these big hut palaces sitting on it. Ord Mantel is cluttered with uh, burning debris and pock marks from missiles all over, all over the terrain, and uh, you never quite feel safe in this planet. You always feel like you're running from one shelter to another. So in Ord Mantel, there's a lot of opportunities to have vista shots because it's an island environment where there's stretches of water and an enemy base built on an island or a, you know, a structure of volcanic rock just sitting out there. It is a planet full of thieves. There are people who will steal your starship if you're not careful. They will steal medicine, they will steal food, supplies, guns, everything they can get their hands on. It's a desperate world full of desperate people who are trying to survive and are willing to prey on each other in order to do so. As an environment artist working on like these huge planets, uh, it was a lot of fun making sure the planet looked as real for the players so they could enjoy people probably won't notice all these little subtle details that we actually painstakingly place. That's what makes it fun. Every one of the worlds in our game is going to feel incredibly unique. You're going to fight enemies that you won't find anyplace else. You're going to see things that you won't see anywhere else. It's not just about the terrain or the environment or the, the creatures. There's a distinct feeling to each planet that makes it special and makes it a place that 
you're excited to go adventuring through and that you'll want to go back to again.